welcome, welcome to Looming, Looming with, with us. us. And today we're going to be making the triple link bracelet. It looks like this. So let's get looming. So first you want to grab your loom and you don't want the regular layout. You just want to pull on each side of that middle peg and flip it around. And you want all of these even, even on each side. So now you want kind of a middle color. Yeah. So you want to. You need to have three colors. Yeah. So you want to grab here. Put that right there. Grab another one that same color. And you also want to push it down. And then. Do it all the way down that one side. We are sorry, sorry we haven't been posting videos lately, but we are going to be posting videos weekly. You're going to do this all the way up the loom. So you do not need one right there. Only on the end. Yeah. So then it's a little different. You go all the way down here, but you don't want to do three pegs right here. Those are like disappeared. So you pretend they're not there and you just go all the way down there to the last peg and stop. Now, I'm going to do that and I'll be right back after this. Okay, so I finished. Make sure not to go on these three pegs. Stop at that one. And now you have two other colors, which I'm using teal and green. Then green. Okay, so you want to, whichever color you want first, you're going to grab three of those put them all together on your finger stretch them out a little bit because they need stretched okay we're not going to go on this peg we're going to go right oh, first push it down go right here stretch three pegs and then you're going to take your next color oh first you want to push that down take three of your next color stretch them out Put it in the middle of that rubber band that you did and stretch. So you want to skip the first one and stretch three, then start in the middle. Only and a gray three. will be on this one. I'm going to go show you two more times. And then you you need two, you can use two colors. I don't know, you probably can use three. But again, go in the middle, stretch. Yeah. This is a very simple bracelet. It might seem tricky, but it's pretty simple after you watch a video. Stretch it out. Put it in the middle of that peg. And push down. I'm going to show you one more time. Grab three. Three, not two, three. Stretch. Make, kind of make sure they're... You don't want them really twisted, but it's okay if they are. Put them in and the middle. And when you... Choose your bands. Make sure that you don't choose bands which you know break easily. You want to make sure that they're stretchy like this because I used ones that were stretchy the first time I made this bracelet and it turned out, but it was hard. Er, harder. And it, it looks prettier when you use looser bands. Yeah. More loose and flowy. Okay. You're going I'll to do that all the way up. Okay, there's other stuff you need to do before you start hooking. You see that I just ended it with a green. So I'm going to grab three teal, stretch them out. I'm going to put them right here to here to here. So it makes like a triangle. Then I'm going to grab my green, three of those, stretch, push this one down. You're going to go from here to there. There I go. It's like triangles two different ways. Okay, now we're just going to grab a three teal, stretch, put it right there, and right there. Then grab the three line green, stretch, put them in the middle, to there. Then you just do that all the way down till you're, you get to your first gray, if you have gray. 
Okay, so now I need to get my capping band. So, uh, you grab like, a green. let's say, two of your next color. You don't need three, but you can do three for stronger. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on the end and wrap it around three times. So, one, two, one more. If I can get it. Three. Make sure you see three loops on it, not two. Good. Okay, and it will be a little thicker if you use more than one band, so don't be worried. Okay, so now, well actually, no, okay. So, go under here, grab this gray, and hook it up. Yeah. Try to not, like, you can kind of do that. And then go under, you're not going to be hooking the colors yet. I mean the, you know, the colors. You're just going to be hooking your base color, which we used gray. Yeah. Try to get it. Some are trickier than others. Pull it. Put it on that peg in front. And down at the end, it gets a little tricky. But if you mess up this one little step, it'll probably stay. Just be a little, you know. And you under. You are going to do that all the way up until the triangles. Until those triangles. Okay, so you are, I stopped at the triangle so I can show you. You, I was wrong. You do not hook the colors because they're supposed to be like circles. They just kind of flow. You're going to go under, grab that. Yeah, came in then. It's okay, it didn't snap. Go under. It should be the bottom one. And if it's not the bottom one, you did something wrong. Pull it. Put it in the peg in front. Go over here. Pull it. Put it in the peg next to it. I'm going to flip my loom now. Go under here. Grab that. Yeah. Grab the wrong one. Pull this you're not supposed to do this. My things just got kind of tangled. Go under here. And once you grab finish, it. you're going got to it. be grabbing the grays all the way down the loom. Now your loom should look like this. There should only be one band down there that you... Don't let it fool you because it did to me once. Okay, you're going to go at the end. It should be your band that you chose for base color and pull get, get it off make sure they don't get caught because they will probably and hold it and it's secured down here so don't be like worried like this don't be worried because this this rubber band might come out but it's connected this happened to me but i didn't think so and i was like so worried but I realized that it was supposed to be there. So here is your look. Look for your bracelet. It's double sided. I think that's super cool. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Thanks. See you next week. Bye. Bye.